the Affordable Connectivity Program is up and running. This is a program created by Congress in the Infrastructure and Jobs Act, was signed into law back in November of 2021. And the process now has been to transition people from the emergency broadband benefit to the new Affordable Connectivity Program. We're gonna talk about that transition and how to apply to the new program for the first time if you didn't participate in that earlier benefit. The FCC, this program will work to make internet more affordable for more people. Now the benefit amount is $30 per month for households not located on tribal lands. If you are on tribal lands, it is a $75 a month discount. There is also a device discount similar to that that was part of the emergency broadband benefit. Now the service can be used for internet or broadband services that is either standalone or bundled and bundled with something like telephone, texting, or some equipment rental. Let's talk about that transition. If you participated in the emergency broadband benefit, you will continue to receive that higher benefit amount, the $50 a month discount that emergency broadband provided until March 1st of 2022. Then most people will automatically roll over into the new affordable connectivity program. You will not have to reapply. There are a few exceptions. If you fall into one of those exceptions, you will be contacted by your internet service provider. In most cases, you will not need to re-enroll. Like we said, if you participate in the emergency broadband benefit, some people might want to switch providers, however, because the benefit amount is a little different. Who is eligible for the Affordable Connectivity Program? It's pretty broad eligibility. First of all, if you participate in Lifeline, you're automatically eligible. If you have an income that is at or below 200% of the federal poverty level, you may qualify as well. If you are participating in a Medicaid or food assistance program or a special tribal program, such as tribal TANF, you may also be eligible. To enroll in the Affordable Connectivity Program, like we said, if you participate in Emergency Broadband or Lifeline, you can just contact your internet service provider directly and go from there. If you do not participate in those programs, you can apply online or on paper, and we link in the description below to how to get an application started. You're actually gonna use the National Verifier tool. It's the same tool people are using to apply for the Lifeline benefit. So we link to that tool in the description below. We also link to a resource of how to find an internet company close to you.